Well, welcome good morning. home. Welcome Thank home you. to the General Assembly. Governor. It really is strange sitting on this side of the, the table. Um, but it is great to be here. Thank you, uh, Representative Tong and distinguished members of the Judiciary Committee. Uh, for the record, I am Lieutenant Governor Nancy Wyman, and with me I have Karen Bufkin, the General Counsel for the Governor. Um, thank you for the opportunity to provide highlights of my testi testimony in favor of House Bill 6848. The goal of this bill is simple, protecting victims of family violence. We know that the days following the victim's application for a temporary restraining order are the most dangerous. Just last May, a domestic violence murder took one of our own from the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection. Lori Jackson was shot and killed by her, her estranged husband just one day before a hearing on, the, on a full restraining order. She was killed and her mother was shot and injured all while their two young children were in the home. We can and must do more to protect the victims of domestic violence and their families. In Connecticut, guns are the most commonly used weapon in fatal family violence incidences. Domestic violence is um, an incredibly complex issue, but we know that a woman in an abusive relationship is five times more likely to be killed if her abuser has access to a firearm. We should, be among the, we, we should be among the states working to reduce this risk to women and families by prohibiting the possession of guns by anyone who is subject to a temporary restraining order. Expanding these prohibitions works. There, are, uh, there is 12 to 13 percent reduction in family violence homicides in states that have already done this. In short, women's lives are being saved by, by legislation like this. If a judge believes that a victim faces an immediate and present physical danger, that judge should have the tools necessary to protect that victim. Passage of this bill will give them such a tool. I urge you to support House Bill 6848. We must do everything in our power to protect victims of family violence before it is too late. Thank you very much, and we'd be glad to answer any questions. 